excellent evening everyone welcome 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 we are highly welcome to this evening's broadcast how are we i hope we're doing good happy new week happy new week happy new week so today we are cooking remember that this uh, period we are dealing with diabetic you know patients we are dealing with people who have high blood um, sugar levels and they want to reduce those numbers and bring them to normalcy okay and i told you it's possible it's absolutely possible it depends on you it depends on what you want to do it depends on what you want to put in okay so it's really 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 possible so we are all highly welcome today we are baking again and i'm asking what's in my bottle <laughs> what do i have in my bottle it's just you know sometimes they say that Sometimes they say healthy food is like punishing yourself. <laughs> so anytime they talk about healthy food, it's like something that is not sweet. But that's not so. Today we're going to be making, like I advertised to us, diabetic brownies, okay? Very nice, very, very delicious that you can have as your snacks, that you can have, okay, as your dessert. You can just go ahead and have something really nice. So like this period, that's what we've been doing last week Wednesday. I taught you how you can how you can eat real delicious meal and still be healthy. And remember, diabetic people very good for them. So for this season, we're going to be looking at a lot of all those food. And then my book on recipes will soon be out. Okay, I wanted it to come out this Saturday, but they just said, Adam, why don't you add in just these few? recipes you know a few of them that we have been researching on and finding um, of recent so that's why it's not out so today we're making brownie thank you for the thumbs up thank you for the love you're highly welcome so if you've joined me you can greet so i can welcome you to this evening's broadcast and then also share 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 join me in sharing like i tell us there is love in sharing hello grace you're welcome well, welcome, Mabel Ene Okafo. You're welcome to this evening's broadcast as we make this delicious brownie, okay? That is really, really nice. I just made one today, and um, I'm also going to show you um, my banana bread that I made here in US. Remember that that's like normal snacks for us in Nigeria. So I made crunchy, all filled with nuts, banana bread. And then again, I also made potato bread. That was um, two days ago, okay? Yeah, because I want to eat healthy. I want to be sure that on the run, I have all these cookies, all these healthy snacks around me so that I'll not be tempted to take what is not healthy. And that's what I always tell us. Okay, if you don't have all the time to take all the healthy snacks, then go on vegetables that are like carrots, okay? They are good for you. Cucumbers, okay? They are good for you. So you can go on those ones. You don't have to really um, bake, bake, bake. But if you have the time, it's good for you to bake, put them in the fridge, and then really have your nice time. So I'm sharing and help me to also share to friends so that they can join us live. You know, the good thing about joining live is that you can ask your questions. You can join and see how it's going. And then if possible, if you have all the ingredients around, you can gather them together and also join so that we can bake together. And I'm always very excited when um, a few of you will show me what they baked. <laughs> I remember when I, I made the, the sauce for your, um, like a pudding for your Quaker Oats. Some people made it and they showed it to me. I was really very excited, okay? So because it, it, it keeps me going, it helps me know that people are really enjoying what I'm doing. It helps me also know that people are really benefiting from it. And then people are getting healthy. Okay, this morning, one of my 100 influencers sent me a testimonial. It was so mind-blowing. I was so excited. I said, post, 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 post everywhere. <laughs> so she, she had a case of a guy the guy, the, the man, not a guy, man. <laughs> the man is about 54 years old, okay? And then he had visited the hospital and his PSA was high. His numbers were up. Yeah, so he had a large prostrate. That was like two months ago. It's going to three months. It's going to be three months this, this July. So, uh, and he just saw her on Facebook 
um, of course, doing what I teach them to do, touching lives. And that's why I say you should join the 100 influencers so that you can touch lives also. She saved the soul, okay? You can save the lives of many people just by doing what we're doing. So she, she the guy, uh, the man called her and said that, um, okay, and um, you're talking about menopause. Can men have menopause? And um, what happens to men? What are some of the diseases? He said, I just visited the hospital. In fact, I can even read um, their conversation, one or, or two from, from their conversation. And then he said, I just visited the hospital and um, they said, my PSA is high. She sent us the, the chart between her and the man. She said, I have an enlarged prostate gland. What line of action do you advise? And he said, further explanation, I went for PSA test and the result shows a healthy man starts from 4.5 and mine is 5.6 tests. So he asked her what can she do and then she now recommended some of her supplements to, to him. Then he now said, okay, she now asked her, have you gone to the hospital? Okay, did they say, he said, you know high PSA is not necessarily, you know, indicative of prostate cancer. So did he say it's cancerous? Okay, she now said, my doctor, after starting the PSA, told me it's not cancerous, it's just enlarged post prostate. So she now said, okay, and she recommended them um, uh, products to her nature, main vitalized men, berry nectar, and I think bee pollen. Let me check what she recommended to, to the man. And um, yes, vitalized women, vitalized men, nature, main, emu blend, and berry nectar. And after that recommendation, the man took it for two months and he went back to the hospital and the doctor said, wow, very great improvement. Whatever it is you've done, continue doing it, okay? So that's the very, very good thing about joining the 100 influencers. If you join the 100 influencers, you're going to touch lives, you're going to make money after that. She sold her products, she made her money and she touched the life of that man and the man is healthier now. So welcome, Abiodun Janet, you're welcome, um, Abos Sede Olabisi, you're welcome to this evening's broadcast, welcome, welcome to every one of us. So today we're going to be making diabetic brownies, okay, very, very healthy. Okay, and like I said, I'm going to show you, I also made um, coconuts, um, I'm, a lot of coconut and um, banana bread, okay, let me just grab it from the fridge and show you. so i also made um, my banana bread this is my banana bread i made it with some chocolate because that chocolate are also very very healthy it's very very nice crunchy lots of seeds lots of um lots of nuts <laughs> Well, you know if I'm in Nigeria and I have people to be sending around, now you have to be seeing me in and out of <laughs> the video. Alright, so I want to show you. I have a lot of seeds in here, okay? I have like um, system seeds, I have flat seed, I have, I have um, coconut, okay, and then oats. Very, very healthy. No sugar, no flour. SSS, you know, all those saturated fats and the rest. I made this with almond oil, okay? Um, no, um, with um, avocado oil, okay? Very healthy. And then we have our brownies. So you have all these things at hand for you to use and for you to have. I'm having my drink and I'm also going to have some banana bread as I have my drink also, okay? So you just make sure you're healthy because all these things are healthy and they are nice for you. If you look at it, you will see all the knots inside. Really delicious, exciting and nice. And then I have my potato bread. I made some potato bread. I had my potato bread as my dinner yesterday, okay? With some vegetables. So well, that's my potato bread. It's just made with potato. No flour. And 
some real whole grain oats, okay? So we'll just, uh, I'm going to show you how to make the brownies, but first of all, let's talk about what is good and what is healthy for you. That's the brownies that I've made today. You can see how nice it is. It's really, really nice, okay? I'll just end up by showing us how you can make your syrup for it. Exciting. Don't let me start to because once I start it now. <laughs> it's new, it's new, it's new. <laughs> hmm. Alright, so like I said today we're going to be looking at how do you have your brownies and make them from healthy, healthy ingredients. Brownies today. We are going to be using eggs. Okay. We're going to be using eggs. We're going to be using coconut flour. This is coconut flour. And then we're going to be using some almond flour. Almond flour. I'm going to color the ingredients for us later, okay? And then we'll look at them one by one and how we'll do it. And then we we'll also have our toppings. We're going to use coconut chips and coconut oil for our toppings, okay? For our toppings. All right. So um, when we're talking about um, issues, one question you could ask is, can diabetics eat chocolate? <laughs> can diabetics eat chocolate? Let's answer, okay? Let's answer on the comment section. Let's go ahead and answer on the comment section. Let me also see those who are commenting. Can diabetics take chocolate? Answer me. Hello, Abiodun Janet, you're welcome. Welcome, Victoria Smart, to this evening's broadcast. Welcome, Ifi. Former is one of my 100 influencers in United Kingdom, okay? She's touching lives. She still has her job. I mean, that's the good thing about this business. You do it part time, okay? And you do it the way you want to do it. If he does not come out to cook, she does it her own style, okay? There are so many of us who do it just the way they feel like. Some just do their teaching, some will just do their email, email use email to do the business, some use website. So you said it, it depends on what you decide to do. And that's why I'm saying you use your hobbies. You use your talent, you use your skills, you use your passion, you use your burden to touch lives, educate people on healthy living, educate people on how they can stay well, you know, and live well and live old. No, no matter the, 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 the niche you want, we we'll use it. Like Anne, Anne is one of my 100 influencers and her niche is also towards men even though she's a lady, so she does a lot of things to help men, okay, and also women. So if you welcome all the way from UK, I met her on Facebook, we've never seen, all these people have been mentioning to us, maybe accepting and we've never seen before, and we are really, you know, digging it together. All right, so welcome Taiwo Lovett, or welcome to this evening's broadcast. Ebele Chima, you're welcome. Mabel says, how do you make or get coconut flour they sell coconut flour in shops but you can also make it yourself just grate get your coconut grate it and air dry it when you air dry it you now um, blend it that's your coconut flour okay so you can make coconut it's very easy and then when you're making your coconut flour that brown part of it you have to um chop when you cut your coconut you scale it out you um, peel it out and then you use grater to grate the coconut, that like flakes, and then when you air dry it, you can now um, you can now blend it, okay, before you use it. So that's how you can make coconut flour. Mabel, I hope that answers you. If Ibo says only if it's madam with one hundred cocoa and um, with caution. All right, yes. Yeah, so you can eat chocolate, 
Yes, yes, yes. If he's taking me back to where we are now, me, you're welcome, welcome, welcome. So, yes, diabetics can eat chocolate. Everything is in moderation. That's the most important thing. Some chocolates are better than others, we know. For example, sugar free and dark chocolates are going to be much better for a diabetic patient than semi sweet or milk chocolate, okay? And this is why today I'm using sugar free chocolate recipe you can see you can see the cocoa i'm using i'm using 100 percent natural unsweetened cocoa okay so that's what i'm using today and then i'm also using the coconut ch chips that are unsweetened okay so that's what you need to make this diabetic recipe so maybe making this healthy recipe is not as hard as we think it's pretty it's very very simple in 10 15 minutes we are through and then, first of all, you mix all the dry ingredients together, like I'll show you the dry ingredients. We have our coconut flour, we have our, okay, let me just move my camera down so you can see. We have our coconut flour, okay? This is the coconut flour. This is the coconut flour. This is the almond flour. This is the unsweetened cocoa, okay, powder. And then I have my baking soda. I have my baking soda. And then I have um, our um, raw cane sugar replacement. Okay, it's um, like um, this one is um, mom fru fruit sweetener, like a sweetener. This is not sugar, it's not honey. Remember, I tell you, when you take honey and sugar, they are not good for you. Like what I have here now, hard sodium zero mg fat zero grams total carb is just about eight and um, protein zero grams so it's just like a sugar replacement that you can have okay because we're making brownie so that's what i have here it's not sugar it's not brown sugar it's a sugar replacement that i've shown you and then i have my unsweetened coconut chips okay those are the dry i have my eggs i have my coconut oil all right and baking soda of course so those are the ingredients we are using for today so coming to talk about some of these things that we have um, like almonds for example almonds are very very nutritious they are you know they are nutrient rich and almonds also are packed with antioxidants and they are good for your gut health and why they are good for your gut Sorry, <laughs> I put off my phone when I wanted to take off the camera. So why almonds are good for your gut health is because they are, they, they are filled with so much fiber. They are actually filled with so much fiber for you. So you can have them with the fiber that they come with. And then they are also very, very good for heart health. And the almonds can actually aid weight regulation and weight management. And I don't know if I have time maybe i'll show you how to make like instead of using a goosey i've done that before Sha. maybe last year or last two years of video instead of using a goosey to make your a goosey soup for nigerians you can use almond flour to make it and when you take almond flour as your swallow or take almond flour as your a goosey you'll find out that you have your boils will move very well so and they also almonds are also very very good for your skin they're talking about coconut oil Coconut oil actually encourages fat burning. They are very, very good source of energy. You know, they have antimicrobial effects. They can help reduce hunger because of that fat in it. And they also help to reduce seizures for people who have seizures. Very, very good for skin. You see a lot of um, skin um, um, cream they make, they use coconut oil for it. And also very good for your hair. In fact, usually I combine coconut oil, almond oil, um, a little bit of very little olive oil, carrot oil, or reed that we know, okay? Share butter to make my cream, okay? They are very, very good for the health, hair, and they are also very good for oral health. That's coconut oil. And then, talking about um, sugar-free chocolates. Sugar-free chocolates, like what we have here, they are very, very good in the very low in glycemic index they are antioxidants they are very very nice in taste they are very good source of magnesium iron 
and they are very low in calories and they are source of um, potassium and they are fat free okay so that's what we have there and then also um, of course I've already shown us eggs we all know what eggs can do for us I don't have to go through that so without wasting time we're going to go on to make our brownies now so what do we do we're going to first of all get our eggs I'll try to sit as much as I can okay first of all you're going to do your prepare your pan your baking pan okay this is my baking pan for today and then um, you use your parchment paper okay to prepare your pan all right so first of all you have cut it into sides and then you make it so that your pan can be ready for it and then you're going to also preheat your oven 340 you preheat your oven okay all right remember i finished baking but i'll put on the oven very soon so we start with our eggs We'll start with our eggs thank you for the love thank you for the thumbs up i appreciate and then i'm also going to ask them my staff i don't know if any of them is online now grace are you online grace if you're online kindly help me to post the ingredients on the on the comment section okay so we are having five eggs Bring down my camera. You're going to be see what I'm doing, not me this time. Okay, so I have my five S. Two. Then I'm going to add my coconut oil. Hello, Ijoba, how are you? You're welcome to this evening's broadcast. Welcome, you, you need to baby, how are you? You're welcome to this evening's broadcast also. Thank you for joining me. So today we are making chocolate uh, brownie and uh, I'm saying the brownie is very very safe for diabetic patients they are very very good for them and already I've read out our ingredients for us okay so um, I've put my five eggs you will mix all the wet ingredients together and then you now go ahead and mix all the dry ingredients together also so for the wet ingredients, I have five eggs and then I also have um, my coconut milk, my coconut oil, sorry. I have five eggs and then I have one third cup of coconut oil. I'm going to measure that in now. Where is my cup? Okay. So this is the one third cup of coconut oil. I'm adding one third cup of coconut oil and then I'm going to add one tablespoon of vanilla extract one tablespoon of vanilla extract I have this measuring cup and um, spoon that is half so i'm going to add double which is one one tablespoon of vanilla extract so the wet ingredients are together now okay 
I have here x, 5x, one quarter cup of, one third cup of coconut oil, and one tablespoon of vanilla extract. So those are my wet ingredients, okay? I'm going to pour it into the bigger bowl to mix all together now. to combine all the dry ingredients together now okay I set this aside and my dry ingredients I have my coconut flour I have my almond flour okay and then I have my cocoa so I combine all together now So what measurement do I have? I have um, one, one third cup of coconut flour, then one quarter cup of almond flour, and then one third cup of cocoa, okay? Cocoa flour. And then also I'm going to add half teaspoon of baking soda. That's what I've measured out here. Half teaspoon of baking soda. Then I'm going to add my sweetener, okay? So I have the dry ingredients together now and I'm going to mix them all here. So that's my dry ingredients now. So remember, in for my wet ingredients, I have I mix together five eggs, okay, one third cup of um, coconut oil, and then I added my vanilla essence. And then for the dry ingredients, I have one one quarter cup of coconut flour, one third cup of almond, then one third cup of cocoa powder, sugar-free, and then I also have a um, sugar-free sweetener and then baking soda, and I'm going to add the dry into the wet ingredients. So I'm going to mix them together. your questions if you have your question remember you don't have to eat wrongly or healthily to be able to enjoy your meal you can enjoy healthy meals and make sure you control your sugar control your blood pressure control inflammation and you live healthy okay and also control your weight and belly fat all these are all the good snacks that can help you do all this all right so i have i have it there now so after stirring them i'm going to add my coconut chips i'm uh, sorry <laughs> my cocoa chips chocolate non-sugar free okay good so check the texture 
so that when you make your own, you'll be sure how the texture is. All right, let me say thank you, Grace. Grace says, well done. Thank you very much. I appreciate Grace. Um, let me just see if I have any questions before I put on the oval. You see, today is very short because it's just one. We are making only one. <laughs> Welcome, Feto Paolua. How are you? Welcome to this afternoon's broadcast. Today we are making diabetic brownies, okay? We are making diabetic brownies today. Hello, hello Sarah, watching from Italy. Yes, Sarah. Sarah, I saw your hand, though. I checked the webpage and I saw that you bought some products. Sarah is one of my 100 influencers in Italy. I have two of them in Italy. Jennifer. Jennifer has done so well. In fact, Jennifer is now a manager in the company. And every time she's selling in UK, US, Nigeria, Italy, Spain, Germany, okay? She's doing so, so well. And Jennifer also cooks. You can join her on her page. She does exercises. She does cooking. And she also, you know, deals with women from about age 35, okay, to 50 on whatever that can help their health. Hello, Jen Destiny, you're welcome. So, Sarah, welcome all the way from Italy. Thank you. I saw you that you did some, some business this last June. God bless you. I'm always excited when I check my back office and I see all these women all over the world touching lives. Because each product that leaves the company, I know that those products are leaving the company to touch life. And then, okay, before we put our, our brownie in the oven, and then now make our topping and i'll show you um, the past one i want to show you if you're having diabetes and you need to crash your blood sugar remember i told you there are four things you need to do change your lifestyle number one okay and in changing your lifestyle add some kind of good exercises and physical activities to your lifestyle change what the content of your fridge Change the content of your bag, your snacks. You need to change them. Those are the change of lifestyle we talk about. I remember we have a group, um, the Diabetic Challenge group now in Telegram. Let me put my WhatsApp number. So if you want to join the 100 influencers or you want to join the Diabetic Challenge group or you want to join the weight loss group, just chat me on my WhatsApp number and tell me which one you want to do. Remember from the 12th of this July, we are going on our season three of detox and weight loss program season three we did season one in february we did season two in may and we are doing season three this 12th of july for weight loss and detox and i had a lot of testimonies for may season of season challenge okay i'm sure that this july is going to be mind-blowing because people like uche that joined in may She's already a supervisor because she touched a lot of lives using her clean line. All right, so my WhatsApp number, number is plus 234, seven, plus 234, 703, 515-1642, plus 234-703-151-1642. So you can chat me to join any of these groups, either the Diabetic Challenge group, or you also want to join the weight loss group that is coming up but the weight loss group is not is free for the trading but you have to get your products to be there because we're using the product right diabetic group free of charge if you want to go on that train and do very well you get your product if you just want to be see down the look you see down the look <laughs> whichever one then if you want to also be one of the 100 influencers we are also having our meetings. We have our meetings on Sundays and then I have trainings for each person depending on their program. All right. You can also chat me on my WhatsApp number. So I've pinned my WhatsApp number here. Yes. Okay. Dory says, can non-diabetic take this? Yes. It's for everyone. That's why I said it's good for middle age. This brownie is good for middle age. It's a good snack you can have and you're sure you're eating healthy food. But remember, everything must be done in moderation. Don't just go and say, oh, um, aging with grace coach say we can take this. Then you now go and get a very big bowl 
or brown yarn, you just finish everything. Remember, caution control control once you are caution control once you are middle age. Anybody 35 and above, you must observe caution caution control. Okay. All right. So yes, it's good for non-diabetics. Okay. All right, Doris, you're welcome. Victor, uh, Vero, you're welcome. Welcome, welcome. Vero is my secretary in Nigeria. Keeping forth and looking after the school for me also. Thank you, Vero. It's when you have capable hands like this, you can go around the world as you like. <laughs> All right. Hello, Kate. Oh, Kate, you're welcome from Port Harcourt. Thank you for joining me this evening again. So I put my WhatsApp number, whichever one you want to join, you're free to join that group that you want all right so these are browning we're going to put it in our i'm going to put on the oval now okay so i'll the oval i'll set it at 350 and then i'll put my browning and then i'm going to show us how we can make our our toppings for it and we go ahead and have it so it's trying to set up to 350. So I have my I'm going to put the camera down again so you can see what I'm doing. So I have my pan. I'm going to pour in my brownie. Right, me, I want to put in everything inside this pan. <laughs> Nothing is wasted, though. Who is like me? <laughs> hey, sometimes the children will say, Mommy, I, I don't do now. What are you still scraping? That one, you will still wash it off. <laughs> All right, remember, there's no flour here. Our flour is coconut flour and almond flour, which are very healthy. So ready, I'm putting it in the oven now. Remember I said preheat your oven to 350 and then you have your So it's going to bake So I'll put our brown inside the oven. I will take some of our questions more. And then I'm in the kitchen sweating, sweating. <laughs> I'm enjoying my banana bread. Very nice. I remember, like I told us, very healthy, very nice. For our brownies today, we use eggs like I told us, and eggs are naturally low in carbohydrates, okay? And then we use almond flour. Almond flour are very, very good, and they normally comes out nice in the recipe. This is the brownies that I made just before we started. Coconut flour is also very, very good, rich in nutrients, okay? And then I also use um, sugar-free crystal sweetener. Erythrotol, erythrotol, okay? <laughs> and vanilla essence, baking soda, sugar free coconut chips. Alright, so we finished. 
and we'll let it in the oven to bake for like um, I mean, so 10 15 20 minutes depending on how it goes this, this one i made is smaller so it's safe for like just about 15 minutes this one i bet so it doesn't stay long in the oven So if you now want to make a chocolate drizzle for it, if you want to drizzle chocolate on top of it, you're going to use like um, quarter, one third cup of sugar-free chocolate chips again and then one teaspoon of coconut oil. So we'll just make it. I have my one teaspoon of coconut oil here and I'm going to put my chocolate chips. Okay, inside my coconut oil. And then I'm going to so I'm, I'm then going to melt it in the microwave for just like uh, how many minutes let me see just like about 30 seconds so I'll put it in the microwave So we're going to serve our chocolate, our brownie. So for our drizzle, we have our coconut oil and then our ch chocolate chips again, melted in the oven for like 30 seconds. So our brownies ready 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 who wants to taste <laughs> who wants to taste our brownie very healthy for middle age very healthy Diabetic patients, very healthy, okay? Exciting. Healthy. Delicious. Wow. So I'll take our questions. And then we call it a day. Hello, Joy Mohammed. Good evening. How are you today? Angela, the Ogbachuku, you're welcome. God bless you too. Joy Mohammed, welcome to this evening's broadcast. So let's help to share, share, share. Chinenye, you carry out your welcome. Oh, 
All right, I don't think I have any more questions. I have my RG Plus for energy. That's my drink for today. Just inside water. Because I'm taking my aloe vera in the morning, okay, with my protein. So you may ask if you need to crush your blood sugar. Like I said, what do you use? Let me show you the things that you need. So aloe vera. Aloe vera is, is, is um, filled with 210 nutrients. And aloe vera can help actually drop blood sugar with good lifestyle, good diet, good exercise, routine exercise. You can watch my video on Saturday. I talked about routine exercises, okay? Then fuel of green. Fuel of green will help give you the greens that you need. Remember vegetables, vegetables, vegetables for anyone that wants to reduce um, blood sugar level. And then of course, your nature meat. Very, very important. Very, very important. Nature meat, very important because it will give you the macro and micro minerals that you need. Okay? It will give you enough macro and micro minerals that you need to have. And again, also active C, omega-3, very, very important. Um, if I remember on Wednesday or one of these days or even tomorrow, if I remember, I'm going to do an experiment for you using this active C to show you how powerful and how much more effective it is than many of those ones you find off the shelf. Forever active C is very, very good. And then of course, pro B, like my morning ritual, let me put it that way, these two. Once I wake up in the morning, I open my aloe vera gel, put one capsule of my pro B, probiotics, very, very good. And I drink this together early in the morning, no matter what, because for me, they are not giving me any calorie, okay? If you look here, everything is zero, 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 zero. So I take it even when I'm fasting, okay? I just take it as my sup supplement, fasting or no fasting helps with ulcer patients, which helps to manage diabetes, helps to manage blood pressure. Remember that gut health is very, very important because what is in your gut is what determines whom you are. All right. So, and like I said, if you, if you are beginning to notice blood vision, watery eyes, especially for diabetic patients, you need to handle it very, very quickly so that you, you don't develop cataracts or glycoma then you need your eye vision, okay? This eye vision, very, very good. This is my own. It's not that I have diabetes or whatever, but I just stay away from having any form of cataract or glycoma, so I take it as my preventive supplement. And remember, prevention is better than early detection. Prevention is cheaper and better than cure, okay? So that's why all these supplements are all open. They are all the ones that I'm using. Um, I know that some of the sessions I have, I had opened all my supplements to show us, and some people were saying, you yeah, are too many, 20 something, okay? I have my eye vision that I'm using, I have my nature main open that I'm using, I have my active C, I and mean, me and Genica, I will do an active C challenge. She taught me how to start chewing active C. These days, I just chew three, two times a day. Mm -hmm. Have it in my mouth, okay? I have my fields of green open and also chewable all right so very very important for us to live healthy so if i don't have any question i'll call it a day i remember like i told us my company reviewed price there's price increase of 10 percent on every product but for this week till saturday i'm still leaving it at the old price for my customers okay so if you can buy between now and saturday i'll give you at old price but from saturday evening I start selling at the new 10% increase. Thank you for all of you that joined me for this cookie today. Okay. Helen Jimo, good evening. You're welcome. Taiwo love it. Wow, this is lovely. Yes, it's really lovely and very delicious and very healthy. Okay. Brown is very, very nice. Eliza said, teach me how to bake that sweet pastry. This one. Oh, the banana bread, which one? Hmm? Which one are you asking me for? Elizabeth, let me hear. Or chat me on my WhatsApp number, okay? I'll send you a private video on how to do this. And if you're not joining us, you can watch the replay. 
All right, Olayi De Adela says, good job. Taiwo love it. Thanks for doing for all I do. God bless you too. Thank you for thanking me, Taiwo. Thank you all for joining me. I really appreciate you all. I love you all. And keep eating healthy. Keep staying healthy. Very, very important for you so that you can live long and serve God better. Live long and be the best and fulfill destiny. And again, if you want to be one of the 100 influencers, chat me on my WhatsApp number. If you want to join the diabetic group, chat me on my WhatsApp number. If you want to join the Detox Challenge Season 3, chat me on my WhatsApp number. God bless you. See you tomorrow. Bye.